Uh, in this next part, uh, we're going to look at putting together the rest of the toes. And uh, first off, I'm going to duplicate out the whole foot, uh, select my faces for the toe that I like, right there. And then invert my selection by holding down Shift, uh, dragging over everything, uh, and hitting Delete, which will give me only my one toe left. Let's move this toe over a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do though is, uh, instead of putting this right in place, uh, right off the bat, I'm going to scale it down a little bit just so it's at a more correct size. And I'm going to make some duplicates of this before I go too far. Uh, I'm going to use this toe over and over and over again for the next uh, rest of the toes. Uh, and the idea being that uh, I have a separate object, I'm going to put this about in place, and then duplicate it. Um, move it over, duplicate it, move it over, duplicate it, move it over. Combine all of these to the foot. I'll probably combine them each one at a time, but uh, that's the goal here. I make one more extrusion out, and uh, this should be good. So quick control D, control D, one more, gives us three more duplicate toes. Now I can leave them here, um, but I'd probably get them out of the way or something like that, um, so I don't have to see them. Uh, or better yet, I can you know put them back in their place uh, and just go into the display layers function, make a new layer, and assign them to that layer and get them hidden for now. Um, so either one of those strategies I think really works. Let's select both objects here. Uh, in a second and uh, move out that face, select the object, and uh, let's just combine the two. Delete my history, and uh, now we can use the append polygon tool in a second to sew this up. Before we do, we have to make sure we have enough uh, faces on the foot to match, and that's going to mean using the split polygon tool to divide the section up. It matches on the bottom already, it matches on the right, it matches on the top. Uh, we have to make it so it matches on the left in just a second. But I think it's easiest to go inside the foot to see this, because instead of moving around the toe, uh, I can now just stay inside the foot and look uh, in all directions at once. Using the append polygon tool, I can click from edge to edge. Uh, that's a click, click, enter, click. Um, and as you see here, there's no place to actually seam that up with. So before I do that, I'm going to have to use the split polygon tool, as I said I was going to have to, to really cut that apart so I have two faces to match up with my other two faces, and oops, using the extrude edge instead of the uh, pen polygon tool. Uh, there we go, pen polygon tool. From there to there, and that will give me one last face down here. Now these of course have to be moved around a little bit to make them work, so I'm going to move these vertices down a bit. So soften out that edge and I've got a second toe. I really want to work at bringing together this little webbing between the feet though, and that's going to require going into the wireframe mode and really moving these vertex points around um, till we kind of bring them down and forward so that the toes don't feel like they're so long and dangly like fingers. This webbing start to come together. And that's just reshaping the toe a little bit to my liking here. <laughs> 